hello Aquarius Aquarius oh my gosh I hope that everyone is doing well I'm doing well um let's get into this okay thank you God for blessing this message for the Aquarius collective let this uh, message come and give the Aquarius clear and concise answers to all their questions okay so Aquarius uh, you know that negative energy the devil energy is busy I just want you to know that I've you probably already know that it's a lot going on around a lot of you the universe is about to take a lot of you into a new life altogether a new season in your life you know the summertime of your life where things just work you know um things are just great you are blossoming and you have a lot of energies around you that can feel that or the negative energies that you know that are uh, consulting and working with these people and letting them know that the Aquarius is about to come into a season of abundance let's mess with them let's get them off course let's uh, mess up their focus let's um, get them tied up in something you know that they shouldn't be tied in it's like the you know there are some people out there some entities out there that don't want to see you go to the next level especially in your spirituality um, just in your spiritual walk they don't want to see growth happen with you because you're going to impact so many different people you know your life will be impactful so um we have some energies running interference okay um let's talk about these energies because they are present they are out and they are loud you know they're getting it's getting you know ramped up at this time because again you know the the entities and the energies working with these people are, are speaking to them and letting them know hey 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 this is the one you want to attack this is the one you want to go after because a lot is going on for them um let's mess up let's you know redirect um let's shift their focus you may even have people coming back from your past wanting to be friend or you know be friends with you uh, wanting to bury the hatchet um, these people cannot be trusted um, what do we want to tell the Aquarius about certain people this wanted to come out yeah ace of swords you're going to see some some truth some clarity the absolute truth some of you got some knowledge some it was expressed to you how something or someone else how so, how people view you how some person views you how somebody talks about you how um what the real issue is you got some expressed knowledge here and now you can see absolutely clear it 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 calls for conflict but now you can you can resolve within your soul within yourself that these people this person just isn't for me you know maybe you were on the fence about a particular person like uh they can't be that bad or maybe it's me or maybe i'm overthinking it no you got knowledge that this person is not for you P point blank period let's see what else do we want the aquarius to know here the three of pentacles people see the work that you're putting out people see the accolades that you're getting people see how people are gravitating to you um people are seeing the productivity maybe even the uh, the product of your work and now they're gravitating to you again back to these people from the past wanting to resurface wanting to communicate maybe even collaborate work with you uh but it's like you wasn't with me when i was shooting in the gym like you weren't with me when i was struggling when it was um burdensome when it was drudgery nobody was helping me nobody wanted to touch me with a 10-foot pole and now you want to come back for what um somebody is also after you or after your gift because again whatever you're putting out is blessed by the divine okay somebody also just wants to work with you or um figure out how they can share their life with you because they see you coming into 
a very abundant season in your life. They see you coming into money, riches. They see you coming into fame, maybe even, especially if the Four of Pentacles comes out. Um, what else is going on here for the Aquarius? This could be a group of people. Wow. And then another three card. This could even be a group of people just flooding you, coming back. This this is also a group of people um, talking about you. Could be siblings, could be close people, neighbors. Everybody's talking about you. There's a lot of buzz around you. It's like I all eyes on you right now because, again, the universe is shining bright on you. So things are happening. People are wondering. People have questions. People want to know if they can work with you, if they can align with you, if they can come back, if you'll forgive them. Some people want to veer you or steer you off course. This card wanted to come out four of cups. Um, some people, it's like um, somebody could be meditating on how they could come back to you, how they missed the opportunity with you. And will you reject them or will you accept them? I heard resentment. Regret not saying things. So you got somebody wanting to come back because they regret not saying things or you got some people regret saying things to you. Maybe they said some things that they know they should have said to you. It, you know, it was a no go. Um, it may even be a no go with them coming back. There's some pe there's somebody here in heavy fantasy, maybe a Scorpio. Could, it could be anybody. Somebody going through some heavy transformative energy like things are ending for them they're going from one dynamic to the next um being you know wealthy or rich or at least comfortable to maybe having to do more work to earn money so it's like somebody is going from one dynamic to the next coming out of a relationship wanting to go into another one um you know really delving in, into spirituality wanting to you know coming from having no spirituality to, you know, exploring spirituality. So it's like somebody here around you is going through um, some transformative change and they may even be grasping at straws, reaching for you, um, wanting your assistance or your help or wanting you around, realizing that they missed out on the blessing that is you, the opportunity that was with you. Um, because of self being a self-absorbed, self-centered, um, so self-centered that they they couldn't see past themselves to see what was right there in front of them. Someone was always concerned about the party, the other people, keeping a lot of energy up around them, just the chaos, or the chaotic spirit within them. You know. Um, the Four of Pentacles. I told you it was coming out. Some of you about to be famous. Infamy. Like some of you about to really be coming to a new status. It says newfound wealth with the four of pentacles. And you're trying to figure out how you can keep it. You know, it's new to you. So it's like, how do I keep this? And that's also with fame. Because you could be famous today. You could not be famous within a, a few months or a few weeks or, you know, um, so you have to maintain fame. Fame just doesn't, you know, stick with you, you know, your entire life. Or, you know, you could, um, what they call a has-been or a nobody, you could become that. So, you know, fame is always fleeting. So that's why it's a four of pentacles type of thing. It's not a ten of pentacles type of thing, not fame anyway. But some of you are about to come into a, a, a season of, uh, of abundance you can have a firm foundation under you because you worked you're behind off of this you you did the work um you really planted some some good seed the three and the four seven it looks like some of you coming into harvest and um you're definitely going to reap what you've sown and it's going to be before an audience before an audience of people or a particular person who didn't care for you be a Scorpio I don't know or a Cancer Chariot it looks like there will be achievement of these goals that you set for yourself and these were like short-term goals it was like I'm gonna do this in this month this in the next three months you know 
there even could be movement, travel, but this is a very self-centered energy. This is for you. The, the heavens have a line for you. The chariot card can sometimes talk about astrology. So look in your astrological chart to see where the planets are because things are really shaping up for you for, so that you need to take action. You know, do what is possible. Some of you could be buying a new car. You may have two cars. You could have two or more cars. Some of you in a place where, you know, you're just extremely abundant. Um, you make a plan. You execute. Some of you are focused on yourself right now. You need to be focused on yourself. Some of you are focused on weight loss. Some of you are able to lose and gain weight really quickly. So that could be a good thing. And a bad thing, right? Um, this is not the best card for love. This is more self-centered energy. Focus on you. Be all about you right now. The fours talk about self-care. You know, it talks about feminine energy and self-care. So someone could be jealous. Someone could be wanting to come back into your life because they see you completely focused on you and you're smashing your goals out of the park. What else is going on here for the Aquarius? The tower. All of a sudden, sudden upheaval. The moon card. Well, you got like Scorpio heavy. All of a sudden, some hidden enemy is, is coming forth. <laughs> now, enemy could be interpreted as something that is just contrary to so if you know that you want to be married kids blah 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 and that ex resurfaces the one that told you that they didn't want kids they don't want to get married you know that's contrary to what it is you want so that could also be interpreted as the hidden enemy or the enemy you know um suddenly coming back these are polar opposite that's why you get sometimes bipolar or mental disorder in the moon card someone could suffer with that and if you do my heart goes out to you there's always help i hope that you get that um the moon card also talks about yeah two polar so whomever this is is coming back to you you and this person are polar opposite. They could be in the dark about themselves. They don't know themselves. You know, they haven't really set with themselves and accepted themselves completely. And all of a sudden, something could come out. Something happens. There's calamity. There's something breaking apart or breaking down. But it's something that's always been here with the tower card because it has historical value. It's something about a relationship. Could be a business or a relation. So somebody could be moving towards you or someone sees you moving in your own direction, doing your thing. Just, you know, you're out there, you know, um, just smashing it out the park. And all of a sudden they may want to resurface but there's hidden agenda motive ulterior motive things not being revealed something is veiled with this person even though they may co be coming back like this the knight of cups wanting to again make you fall in love with them be real gentleman like or lady like and it's all because they want you to fall in love. Now think about somebody wanting you to fall in love with them. You know, just that statement all together. You know, is this a collective effort? Are we both falling in love or you just want me to fall in love with you? So we've got Aquarius and Scorpio. You got Scorpio coming up extremely. So you, you could be dealing with someone who has Scorpio in their chart or you could be dealing with somebody who's going through like a major transformation in their life shit is just you know they they're flailing in the water is that the word like they they're like trying to tread water here like they, they're on the brink of um, drowning and they may be 
you know, reaching out to you to get assistance. Yeah, they they could be reaching out to you as a lifeline also. Because they see you um, and your power and your energy. This is also a person who is, um, you know, they don't have realistic expectations in love. You know, they like the newness of love and they like when it starts and it's fun and it feels good. And again, it's new. And then it's like, oh, okay, I have to maintain this relationship. Oh, no, I don't like maintenance. And that's why the knights are on quest or conquest. They're still moving. They're still doing. They're not committed to any one thing. So keep that in mind in terms of maybe a person resurfacing. So you got some, a love partner wanting to resurface. You got friends. You got family wanting to resurface. These people are extremely jealous. Um, oh, whoa. Whoa. This fell on the floor of the devil. This this is a again contrary to to positivity. First of all, you know this is all together negative. It's like somebody's trying to bind you to them to their negative energy. King of, it's like somebody's trying to bind you in terms of emotions. Also, we had a lot of water come out in the beginning. It's like someone's trying to emotionally manipulate you you know, into falling again, back to falling in love with the Knight of Cups. But when you fall, this is what you'll get, the devil. You'll get a bind. Uh, so the devil can be, um, you know, it can be so many different things, but it's something that binds you, right? So the devil could be even be dead, you know? You know, on the material front is debt like you know when you go you know sign for a vehicle and you don't pay for it you know cash you have a debt you owe the debt to the bank so you're binded to that bank until you know the you know until the the loan matures and that's the same thing with um these relationships some of you will be binded to these people until you mature until the relationship matures, until it ends, until you learn the lesson, right? Because the devil, all it is, is a lesson. And it's a choice too. Like it's a choice for you to go get that car and sign for that loan. The devil isn't just roaming the streets and hopping on your back and then riding you all the way home. No, you have to choose wrongly. That's why I say in this car, don't be too extravagant about your choices in love and you know material possessions all of that because if you do it can lead you down the road of entrapment being bound stuck then you'll have to work your way out of it isn't that the same thing with a loan you know you go get the money and then you have to work to pay it or work you know so so anyhow um this is what this person wants you to do they want you to fall in love with them again they're going to emotionally manipulate you, show you all the good things about them and why you should miss them. And um, they, they know which emotion to draw from. They're emotionally balanced. You know, so that means if something is balanced, there could be a lot of though of, uh, of that one particular thing there. You know, if I it's like balancing, you know, a balancing act. If you've ever gone to a circus and the person is juggling or balancing all of these different things, um, they're able to do it, you know, and, and that's how somebody is with their emotions. They're able to, they can have compassion, they can have love, they can have fear, they can have um, devotion, you know, they just know where to draw from. They're emotionally balanced, which could lend to on the bad side, especially coupled with this, could just be emotional manipulation make you feel like you're in something real but it is a fallacy it's a fantasy it's not real get some more cards that fell down uh yeah somebody's trying to nine of cups have sex with you somebody could want to give you something too this is somebody who may even have something to give you know what people can give in sex 
that thing that keeps on giving. So be cautious about, you know, um, running back to or allowing a particular person back in your life because they could have that gift that keeps giving. And, and this is a person who definitely these three cards couple. Oh, they want to have sex with you and they want to have sex with you bad and they want to put it on you so you never leave and then they want to bind you. You know, what is more binding than giving someone um, an STD, you know, maybe one that they can't get rid of. You know, that's um, that is devilish. And we've got somebody coming up like that. Let's see what else do we have. Yeah, the nine of wands, nothing but just this is a very um, malicious, frivolous, uh, playful, childish energy spirit about them. They could have familiars with them, meaning that they have spirits that work through them that use this particular person. So be cautious of that, Aquarius. The nine of wands, this is how. Um, Okay, her love them and leave them because as soon as it gets too, you know, too intimate, too vulnerable, too emotional, then they withdraw. They hold back, you know, they withdraw from the commitment, the fantasy of commitment anyway. They could even ghost. This is um this is a person who will have leave you, you know, asking should you even continue with this relationship because they're gonna make for the relationship to be rocky up and down. Because that's this is how their mind is set up. The devil went in the moon. Sarah mind is set up. Chaotic. It's a very chaotic spirit. Let's see what these cards have to offer Aquarius and then we'll come, we might revisit the Tarot. Um, let's see, what do we have to say to the Aquarius from this deck? Yeah, there, it's um, a particular person who wants to bind you by way of maybe some sex or sex with you or sex magic or they could be doing ritual. They wanna give you something that keeps you stuck to them. Then there's an energy there are several energies of people wanting to come back because they're going to see that you're you're shining you're, you're famous for some of you you're going to become famous um and um they're going to want you know to be a part of that a recovering addict triggers so some of you are a recovering addict or you're dealing with one yes this person has a lot of triggers they need you know they need a peaceful environment there is not one within their life right now, you know, and um, they again back to, you know, grasping at straws. They could be, you know, needing you for help or needing you to want to um, help them recover. Also, a sex worker, only fans, exotic dancer, ex escort, prostitution, prawn, we'll call because, you know, they mess with these videos if you say the word pay for play so we got somebody who could be a recovering addict from you know sex work or dealing with sex workers you know um we got somebody who's dealing with the sex worker somebody is in bad health you know bad health just all to get you're their peaceful environment. They want you because they know peace is with you. Where they are, there is no peace. There is no clarity. Um, there is no recovering or recovery because where, wherever they are, it's low vibes, no growth, toxic, unhealthy, you know, like a, 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 a fuck fight relationship, just violent behavior altogether. And we see that with the devil, the nine of wands and the moon and all that, you know, like, Somebody could be in something that is just, you know, uh, low vibing or you came from that and somebody's trying to pull you back or someone wants to remind you of where you came from, Aquarius. 
to kind of throw it in your face or see if they can move you or move you, move you to that old individual, that old person. So someone could even be trying to trigger you or you're dealing with an addict who has triggers. You're dealing with those people who um, you're just going to come back and try to ride your coattails because you got money and you got fame and you got this and that. Look, they hate you just because you're you, period. No other reason, you know, and they do hate you. But the, the adverse of hate is love. So there is love there. You can't hate something if you didn't first love it. So there was love likeness there. Uh, but they hate you because you're you and uh, they just can't be you. You know, wow. Wow. Look what you, you look where you are, Aquarius, extremely happy. Money came into your bank account. You got the job. You won the lottery or a game. You received a promotion. Clean bill of health. And we got somebody back here who may not have a clean bill of health. OK, who may not have uh, that. And they they want to mess that up for you. Um, let's see if, if we can try to pick up on a person that is causing all these issues for the Aquarius. Um, just a lot of negative vibes. Again, you know, that, um, devil or devilish energy is busy because this is where you're going. If you're not already there to extreme happiness and, uh, we can't have that for the Aquarius because you're going to be extremely happy and you're going to take a lot of people with you and you're going to be impactful, you know, and um, these people don't want that. They want you to be low vibing like them, uh, bad health, all of that. Let's see. One more shuffle. Let's see. Um, what do you want to tell Aquarius? What, what do we need to tell Aquarius? Okay. Can't make it up, Aquarius. Sutton Wealth. And that's where you're going to with extreme happiness. It's a beautiful thing. Suddenly, everything that you've manifested or have been manifesting is like coming toward lucky street, the 777. Um, get lucky or you're lucky. We talked about the universe uh, with the chariot card. It talks about astrology, how things or the planets have aligned for you. The chariot card is a seven. And we have 777 seven, seven showing up. Some of you made some decisions to get out of certain situations that didn't, you know, um, benefit you. They only, it only took from you. This could be with family. This could be with friends. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> okay. Okay, spirit. No, no, no. Way, way, way. Hold up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's let's take it down a notch, Aquarius. Sit, get in your seat. Sit down. Are you sitting? Okay. So I did a reading earlier. The the, the sound was messed up again. The devil coming against my sound. Um, <laughs> uh, these two cards came out in that reading, Aquarius. This is um, if you don't believe it. You don't believe it, but you have to believe it, especially if you have done the work, Aquarius. I'm so proud of you. The universe is proud of you. And um, this is why, you know, you're going to be extremely happy because you get the two best cards in this deck, sudden wealth and great fortune. This is big ass money. This is big ass rewards. This is front stage. This is the pouring out from the heavens. This is eternal blessing you know, in this life and in the next, whatever this may be, uh, for you. If you're, I don't know if you're coming back again. I'm not coming back anymore. I'll tell you that. Um, and then you have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck and it talks about a large sum of money, promotion, good news, good opportunity. I said, I wasn't coming back anymore. And my right ear started itching. I know it. I know I'm not coming back. I, I, I felt that for, okay, we're not going to talk about me, but, um, you, I'm good on this earth. I'm really good. I've learned the lesson. I'm great. What's next? Cause these people are, some of these people, not you Aquarius, not you listening, but some of these people are absolutely horrible. Um, just got some, 
<laughs> Aquarius, this is so monumental. This is so big, okay? Whatever you have been manifesting. Whoa, I can't make it up. Whatever you have been manifesting. Queen of Wands and the Magician. She's the, she's attractive. So she attracts things to her. She um, puts the fillers out, the energy, the energy work. She's the seductress. So you, you seduced, you know, this new life. You also um, had an idea. You moved on the idea. You used your words wisely. You played your cards right to essentially get your life in order. Some of you were doing magic or rituals day in, day out with the eight of pentacles over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. Some of you, you just knew you had to make this work for yourself. You also were doing the work, the, the actual tangible work. If it was work on your finances, you were sitting with financial advisor, you were listening to podcasts, you were doing this, you know, you were, you were doing the work here. This is absolutely beautiful, Aquarius. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps, getting chills. This is so phenomenal, especially for those who have done the work. This is all you're going to get right here. You know, new levels bring new devils. And here they come, the five of swords, interference. Um, and, and we talked about that, you know, uh, reversal. So somebody's going to try to come and run interference and hopefully they can reverse. Because the five of swords talks about mind games and reversal. So it's like somebody's going to say something very cutting to you, very nasty. And they want to see if you're going to come and play. But I think some of you understand compassion for your enemy because something is definitely enemy to you. And, and you're going to have the strength enough to walk away because look what you're walking away with and to great fortune, sudden wealth, pay the wands, what you've manifested. All you're going to do, Aquarius, is put distance between you and this particular person, the four swords with the strength card. It's like a silent fuck you. You know, it's like, it really is. That's just what I heard. You know, it's just like, you know, it, you know, it's, it's, it's almost pity. You know, it's almost pity. You've learned to maintain your composure, whether this is with a love partner, you know, a relationship, or this is with a group of people who just absolutely, again, just hate you for being you, period. No other reason. You just learn to walk away. Because you you essentially get the last laugh, you know? Let's see what these cards have to offer the Aquarius. And then we'll take it we'll we'll, we'll take it on home. You got some jealous people. And all they're trying to do is throw monkey wrenches and what you got going on. Pluto, we talked about that. Transformation. Scorpio, if you got Scorpio around you, if you got a Scorpio in your chart, I really feel like this is a, an, an external person to you. They don't like you, you know, um, or they want to be like you, or they want something from you, or they want you to come and rescue them, and they want you to come and save them, or they need your saving grace or your energy, you know. They need your peace. We, we saw that with, you know, in need of a peaceful environment. And that is you, Aquarius. So somebody's going through some heavy transformation and they just need help, you know. And it's up to you if you want to help, you know. I would consult, you know, my God or whatever your, whoever your God is. I would ask, you know, a supreme being, should you help? And then, um, you know, wait for the answer. Then you move like that. But um, Uranus, uh, Uranus. Uranus, Uranus, okay, yeah, all right. Revolution, that's what I'm saying, breakthroughs, brainstorming, originality, this is why people hate you, because you are, you rupture the, the mundane, the status quo, you're edgy, you're diverse, you know, you're like lightning, you're, re, you are reform, there has been an awakening that has happened with you, um, you rule technology and innovation and humanitarianism. So the unexpected. This is why people absolutely 
hate you because when they feel they have you pegged as, oh, she's like this or he's like that, you show a whole nother layer. And it's like, well, damn, I didn't see that coming. Also, Aquarius, this is going to be a major breakthrough here for you. We saw that with Sudden Wealth and Great Fortune. I have, you really get both of those cards and for them to come out back to back. I'm going to tell you, as a reader, you don't get, again, getting chills. You don't really get those cards. You know, you might get it in a spread where there's, you know, sudden wealth over here. And then you, you know, pull eight more cards and then you finally get great fortune. But to get both back to back with extreme happiness or extremely happy. Aquarius, this is beautiful. I think you've been through the ringer, you know. You've had like some of you had like that Job story. You've, you've had to fight the Leviathan. You've had to fight the behemoth. You know what I'm saying? This is this is look those up, you know, um, so you can gain some some wisdom about what you were dealing with. Um, complexity. I'm not going to pronounce that word. This came out earlier for you too. puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts. We talked about something that's contrary. Here come this. Um, this person trying to be complex and trying to come with the puzzle in the game um, requires translation, adjust. It makes curious. So it's like somebody's with that moon card here. Somebody's trying to come in real sly and they're just really trying to confuse the shit out of you. You know, they've been away from you for a while and they just want to come in and, you know, have you overthinking the situation. You know, um, somebody missed the mark with you, you know, it, and it's nothing but a clash, a mix up with you. And they're contrary. They're, they completely contradict what it is you say you want for yourself and your future. And you're always going to have to try to translate for some of you, literally what they're trying to say to you, because they're always trying to talk smooth or you'll have to translate their emotions or their, their movement or their actions like, well, when they did that, what did that really mean when they said that? Or what, you, Who wants to be in a relationship like that where you just have to always try to get to overthink with this person? Because that really stems from lack of trust. You don't trust this person, so it's always overthinking. What else do we have for the Aquarius? So you're dealing with, um, oh, and that also could go for these people that's going to come back. They're going to see you with this major breakthrough, being innovative, maybe even ruling some type of technological advance. And, um, you know, they feel like they missed a mark with you. They're going to be coming back and trying to act like it's something. Oh, damn, moon coming out again. The feelings, instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, uh huh, femininity, lineage, privacy, digestion, okay, and sustenance. Mother, okay the embodiment so you got to really figure out what this person is embodying we had nothing but negative cards after the moon the devil the nine of wands you know things of those of nature so uh king of cups you know um you have to really you know again you're gonna have to figure out the complexity of the moon type of energy when this person comes back who <laughs> Who wants a puzzle of a person? Like you trying to, this is, you know, if you're coming straight forward and you're being honest, why should you have to try to figure out this other person? It's, I don't know. Capricorn at the bottom of the deck, the boss. Also the devil card. Um, someone's ambitious. Somebody's really overly ambitious to get you. That's what I heard, to get you. Get you, don't know. This is a majestic person. Yeah, the devil can be, you know, all glitz and glamour, t uh, temptation, a badass, prepared, down to earth, accomplished, wise, enduring, realistic, authoritative, serious, disciplined is the Capricorn. All right. Um, and, and the Capricorn in the reverse, in the negative, of course, is no discipline. You know, uh, there's no boundaries. You know, so I don't know. You could be dealing with someone like that, or you're dealing with the Capricorn altogether. Um, let's see. Yeah, somebody's gonna be causing petty, pesky 
little arguments or just trying to get you into yeah pesky petty little arguments some of you paperwork is going through um it's you know it, pushing the paperwork through you know and that's petty you gotta wait for this and wait for that wait for that signature but it looks like you get what you want 23 is a highly fortunate number it says that you're going to have the um the favor of higher ups so that's really good especially if you're dealing with court or courthouse or just things that have to do with you know and then this person has to sign this and that person's got to sign it and then it's got to go over for review for that all that little petty pesky stuff this is what this talks about here let's see Let's see what this deck has to offer and then we'll get out of here somebody could also be causing petty little arguments with you um someone being petty saying little snide things to you trying to move you off your square yeah someone just being unkind you know that's all they have to offer because they're so um you know they're afraid of your energy they're also jealous uh, eat more veggies. Some of you literally need to eat more veggies or you just need to be involved in uh, healthier situations, healthier dynamics. You know, you don't need to be involved in um, what is not healthy, what is toxic, because toxic just means unhealthy. Right. So you don't need to be involved in toxic relationship, toxic behavior. You know, um, it's for you to get yourself out of that, for you to make the decision that you don't want to be there any longer if you are engaged in it. Yes, yeah, something is a good idea and it has paid off or it's paying off. Wow, you got a yes answer. We do clarify our yes card, so we'll clarify that. Um, let's see. Somebody's like, text me, don't call me. Somebody's, this. I feel like this is you, Aquarius. You may be keeping somebody at arm's length. Like you, you just don't have time for it because... You kind of see that they're of two minds about something. They could be mixed race. They also just, there's two minds, you know, and you've been doing this with them for way too long. Somebody needs your loving energy to keep them strong. Somebody's doing some magic, but all of those spells have been broken against you. And the only reason why they're doing this is because you ask them to not talk to you anymore. You just don't want the relationship. You understand that you're deserving of so much more and so does this person could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo this person is extremely obsessed with you they stare at your pictures for hours you know they don't like the fact that you leave them out you're leaving them out of your life therefore they're going to try to seduce their way back to you or into your life again but you're putting those boundaries and those blockages up for them i can't talk after 8 p.m sorry or i can't talk at all because you are involved in growth and you are the subject of gossip in groups with this person let's see what else do we have we're going to clarify that yes answer Aquarius this is like a really really good reading and I hope that's answering a lot of your questions in terms of you know specific people relationships um, some people is really trying to keep you down. You've gone through a significant change too. It's some growth here. I think the other people are, a lot of these people are stuck. They want you to be there. Yeah, they want to dominate your energy, domination. But it's so hard to do so because you keep them in a friend zone or you keep them in a place where they don't even know what is really going on with you. You may be understanding that somebody has somebody else and um, you're seeing right through them and, and you're just finished. You're finished with the with the relationship. You understand that it's it's true. It's all true. Okay. Um let's clarify that yes answer. Let's see. Aquarius, I'm so proud of you. It's like all the cards for you and like boundaries. Like, no, no. I'll call you back. I'll text you. All right. Yep. Mm hmm. Bye. So that's really good, you know, especially dealing with some of these people. Um, it's funny. We got the moon card at the bottom of this deck. Um, we're definitely dealing with somebody that's contrary to your life and your lifestyle. 
um, again, polar opposite. Again, um, hidden enemy, things not being revealed. Um, you being, you know, kind and this person being unkind. You being, you know, domesticated or the other person, uh, you know, or it could be the reverse. You being domesticated and the other person is just feral, you know, there's wild. Let's see. What is this yes answer for the Aquarius? Whoa, Aquarius, you got abundance coming to you. Six of pentacles and a four, and it popped out of the deck. This equals the 10 of pentacles. You're going to be famous for something that you're putting out there. And you have some newfound wealth that you might be at a place of like, I'm not letting anybody near this because they will mess it up or they will try to take it from me. You may have to deal with some childhood trauma or issues within yourself. You have to really release that. Um, you could have put yourself on the outside of, you know, this family or these friends or maybe feminine energy. You just don't trust it or trust them, especially when your money rolls in, especially when you get that loan. Some of you, this could be home for pentacles, fours govern the home, home loan, six of pentacles govern loans because you know, they're giving here. So, um, some of you will get that home loan. Yes, you will. You know, um, and then uh, some of you are going to be famous. You're going to have some a big newfound wealth. OK, it says that you need to go it alone, though, with the four of pentacles partnering and trying to partner up. is not the way to go. It says money will come in, kind of come out. You'll be in a place where you can give. You'll be able to give back. You'll be able to do your alms, your benevolent work. Um, what keeps you going? Things will be balanced for you. You'll be in a power position. The power dynamic has shifted. Maybe you were in a place where you were in need. And now you're going to be the giver. Okay. There's somebody holding on to your energy, holding on to you, holding on to the idea of you, holding on to the relationship, holding on to. This could even be like a relationship outside of somebody's established relationship. So a third party situation, if you are the third party, they're still holding on to that. Um, they're, they're giving you just enough to keep you hanging in there. Because they're already married, coupled, or they have obligation elsewhere. It's trying to finish up. Maybe somebody's trying to finish up something and then move towards you. Could very well be. This moon cry is stalking your reading. The universe wants you to know that things have not all been revealed for you. So on from your past is being real calculated in terms of um, how to come towards you. Somebody wants to know what you're doing, how you're doing it, what you're doing for money. The moon card, I shuffled three times the moon card. So this is a, this is a sneak, sneak, sneak right here. And this is somebody who could even be doing rituals on you around the moon. Some of you, you're. If you're a woman, your menstrual cycle is synced up with the moon cycle. So with the new moon and then the full moon. Um, femininity also, nurturing. It's like somebody really wants you back because you're nurturing. Someone just can't read you. They, be, they could be doing magic around the new moon to try to scatter your thoughts, scatter your energy, scatter your money. Try to cause drama, uh, problem, argument, fight dissension discord they just want they don't want you focused to be a fire sign we saw that here a fire sign could be doing magic aries sagittarius leo a male cancer or there's somebody here who is doing magic to even draw you near closer to them um they they're desiring you they desire to be with you there's somebody definitely wanting to have sex with you wanting to reconcile with you Reconcile the differences, reconcile how they really feel, how you feel. They just want to, you know, get down to it. Yeah, there's somebody here who has unexpressed emotions for you. Okay, unexpressed love. This is somebody who has not really expressed their love for you and you moved on. But they want to move on with you. They want to talk to you. They have a, a issue with vulnerability. Openness intimacy they like to keep up this shroud of mystery 
because they feel like this is what keeps people coming back or this is what keeps the relationship alive but it could be leaving them it could be fleeting you know because somebody just cannot be honest yeah this is definitely a twin flame situation where you guys are separated looks like you there could be a coming back together so this will be a good catch and then you have somebody here who's just altogether negative and they want to they might even want to get you away from this person or get the chances for you to be with this person they want them to be never no no chances um what else do we have oh we're at 50 minutes yeah somebody's really trying to manifest you here with the magician and this is so this was a relationship that didn't get off the ground the magician and the high priestess it was like still you know acting like we are together but we're not together but then we say we're together but we're not together but then i don't know it was just all over the place this could even and then you kept this person a secret they kept you a secret you both had the idea that you know we are soulmate twin flames or this meeting was destined you know we were brought together by you know angelic force so i understand the nature of the relationship but somebody tried to keep it merely physical sexual the other person which is most time the woman saw the um spiritual side of of the relationship where they saw you know the spiritual and emotional side like this really means something the significance of the relationship the man was looking too busy looking at the naked woman so he all he saw was the carnal physical okay so this is a relationship that maybe um you might want to give a try Somebody just cannot cope with the fact that you left. You left quick, fast, and in a hurry because all they were given were promises. Now they want to work with you. Yeah. This relationship, how you guys dealt with each other was a lot of doing, acting. It could even have been, even been very sexual, karmic, you know, drama filled, chaotic, destructive, a lot of in and out, false promise. But even in all of that, you knew that this person was for you. There was still chemistry here. There was still something there. It's just that one of you didn't take to the twin flame journey. The other person was ready or semi-ready, but the other person just wasn't. You can't make the other person take to it. Like, you know. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Some of you, okay, they said, get some passive income, okay? Um, you're right. Okay, make it out of it. it, it be resourceful, okay, in all things that you do. Uh, this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. What part resonated for you? Um, let's manifest this abundance that just kept coming out for the Aquarius let's put some money bags down in the comment section um, go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by uh, clicking the buy Ella coffee link uh, thank you Aquarius many blessings to you take care